Right. Um, if you want to continue this conversation, Brett also commented, but if you want to move on. What did Brett say? Oh, I re- yeah, no, no, Brett, Brett kind of reiterated. Well, I know, read Brett's comments. Okay, so Brett, <clears throat> sorry, Sports Illustrated's asking me to not block their ads, so I can't read it there. Okay, here's yeah. the Observer. So it says Brett gave his first public comments on the situation in an interview with Slate. He said he's going to speak the truth and isn't worried about McMahon's feelings because McMahon never cared about hearts. He said, I don't have any problem with everybody kicking his head around the parking lot. I'm okay with the truth coming out. I always had a respect for him. Now it's tainted. I'm embarrassed that I thought so highly of him. Uh, in response to another allegation in a lawsuit where McMahon allegedly hit on her head and back while she was with another man, Hart called it sick and disgusting. When you get that vision in your head, you go, that's messed up. It's too sick and disgusting to really imagine. Brett also said the graphic texts sound like Vince. I don't think this is the only incident of this kind of predatory behavior. I think you'll find that it's everywhere in WWE. It's like Jeffrey Dahmer, Harvey Weinstein, or Jeffrey Epstein. Vince will be a joke. He'll be used for humor, and you'll shake your head at the shock value of some joke about what did Vince McMahon do? And he'll always be associated with the story, especially as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And he also said he apologized to referee Rita Chatterton, who accused Vince of back in the 80s. He said, I apologize from the bottom of my heart, and I said, I believe that what happened to you happened to you. And I apologize I was wrong. Uh, because he didn't believe the accusation initially. And so this is the difference between a person who still works for the company and has a slight spin on the situation and a guy that doesn't work for the company. Right. And a guy, even though he went back to work for them in a, in a variety of capacities, he always had that issue with Vince from 97 and then from Owen's death and stuff. So he has pen up that he wanted to see, he would like to say anyway, you know. Central. I like Brett. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100 with my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and Keep It 100. Boom!